Hello, crypto boys and ghouls, and welcome back to the channel, Tales from the Cryptmancer, where we feature content on play to earn games on the blockchain, such as Splinterlands. And in today's video, I wanted to talk a little bit about bots. Yes, I know, because we haven't talked about bots enough, but I actually want to talk about bots to see are bots the new bottom feeders, and is this a problem? for new players. So let's take a look at what we know going into day three of the new ranked rewards. If we go to the Explorer in the dashboard, what we can see is that yesterday we had 280,446 daily active users. This is well below what it was the day before when it was at 348,000. 26 users, which was below what it was prior to the rank awards going online, where it was 364,856 users. So we have gone down from roughly a daily average of 371,000 players here down to yesterday 280,000 players. So roughly about 100,000 players or daily active users. Uh, are not playing the game right now. And I think if you're a player, like a human player, you're definitely playing the game right now. You're probably playing the game more than you've played the game, well, by any time in your career of Splinterlands. But what does this mean? Well, it probably means a lot of bots were taken offline here over the last 24 hours. And we could theorize that the reason for that is because they're just not performing well with the daily focus shift from the daily quest uh, changes, right? So that definitely probably screwed up some of their programming and they probably weren't doing well and probably just burning ECR. So more than likely a few bot farms went offline here and probably will come back online once all the code is sorted out. We probably haven't seen the last of those pesky bots, right? So what can we possibly theorize might happen next. Well, I have a theory and let's see what everyone thinks of it. So if we go back to the white paper article on the rank rewards, what we can see here is that as long as you have six cards played or 100% of the cards played and you don't use any starter cards, meaning you just use cards that you own, you get 100% of your reward shares earned. That's obviously important, but what is probably more important now than ever is the rewards you can earn at the different league levels. Remember, in the old uh, series, if you participated in bronze, you couldn't earn DEC, you could only earn credits, and the reward chest that you got in bronze was like one reward chest right after the day. So it wasn't like it was lucrative to play in bronze because you couldn't earn DC and well, chances are that one daily loot chest wasn't going to be very beneficial for you. But now look what has changed, right? So now you can earn DC 33% of the time in bronze. You can earn a reward card drop 33% of the time in bronze. And well, you have, I guess, a small chance of push or excuse me, packs, as well as a 33% chance of potions. Now, what is interesting about this, again, if we go back to the way it worked previously in the old system, you had to get into silver three essentially to earn rewards, you know, that the bots would want to farm. But now, guess what? You can earn DEC and you can earn reward cards in bronze. And oh, by the way, you can earn a number of chests, quite a bit more than one chest per day at those drop rates. Look here, you can earn 10 chests with 4,009 R shares. And we do the R shares here based on the average. So if the average R shares per win is 166, if I'm a bot and I'm targeting 10 chests a day on my daily focus, and all I need to get to 
is 4,009. Well, I need to divide that by the average number of R shares. That basically tells me I need to get 24 wins during the course of the day, and I'm gonna get 10 reward chests at the bronze level. So if I'm a bot owner, uh, that seems pretty attractive to me because those 10 chests will have DEC 33% of the time and reward cards 33% of the time. So what do I need to do to be able to farm in bronze? Well, it's really not that difficult if we look at the league levels. So for bronze, uh, bronze three, you need basically no collection power to play in there. But we know we need to own some starter cards, right, to earn rewards. Um, <clears throat> so somewhere between zero and 5,000 collection power is what is needed to effectively operate in bronze. And this is a far cry from what happened in the previous rank reward system, where we needed to get the silver three as a bot, which required 15,000 collection power. Well, now the bar is a lot lower. It's basically just give me some cards to spam and win. It doesn't really matter what they are. If I'm just facing bots or whatever, you know, give me some reward cards, the new reward cards, the old reward cards, whatever. Just throw them out there and we can probably get wins, you know, one an hour, you know, on average throughout the day to get our 10 reward chest and continue to print money. So in reality, they don't really need to invest much, if anything at all, to operate at the bronze level and truly be bot bottom feeders. Now, what they'll probably want to do at some point in time is earn enough uh, or have enough collection power rented or owned to compete at the bronze one level because that's going to give you a rating of 999 at the top of bronze and that's going to allow them to get the maximum reward shares per win. So instead of maybe renting 15,000 power to get into silver, maybe the bots now rent 5,000 power. But what does that mean? It means that, let's say, hypothetically speaking, there was 200,000 bots in the game before. Let's say 50% of the players were bots. 200,000 players and they all had to rent 15,000 power to get into silver three. That means the rental market was absorbing in demand. Uh, that looks to be three billion. I think that's the number of zeros. Three billion collection power uh, was absorbed in the rental market to accommodate that demand. But now what happens if all they need is 5,000 collection power or less? Let's just say optimistically that they go for 5,000 collection power. So 200,000 accounts times 5,000 collection power. Now they need 1 billion collection power. So one third of the rental CP that was required before is probably what they'll need moving forward. So that means two thirds of the rental market just got nuked from orbit. So we'll see what that does for pure collection power moving forward. But if the demand from bots goes from 3 billion CP down to 1 billion, you can be sure that collection power prices will be affected moving forward. And that's using an optimistic scenario where they try and get to bronze one and use 5,000 collection power. So we'll see what it means for the rental market moving forward if this is truly what the bot uh, farms do. But the second part of this equation is well, if all the bots are going to be bottom feeders now and just farming in Bronze 3 through Bronze 1, there's not going to be a lot of human players down there. So the abuse of their possibility for win trading is, well, more prevalent than ever between the bot farms, which becomes problematic, I would say. Not only does win trading become an even more problem for the bottom feeders of the bots, but as new players, the new player experience is probably going to be pretty miserable if a new as a new player when you first experience the game you obviously have to play in bronze and if all you're playing are bots and optimize bot lineups that's not going to be necessarily fun so the new user experience could suffer here with the bottom feeder bots just uh you know spamming whatever they spam at those lower levels 
So we'll see what happens. But it looks like for all intents and purposes here that the bots will continue to farm reward cards at probably an increased rate, honestly, if they're getting 10 or more reward chests from the daily focus by just spamming daily focus into bronze level. And that could be possibly, well, three or four times more uh, rental cards being churned through than previously at the silver three level. We'll have to do some analysis there on the reward chest, especially also at end of season because they could earn enough reward chests to open 150 reward chests at end of season, where before at Silver 3, well, I don't know how many reward chests they were opening at Silver 3. Um, it's probably not that many, maybe like 7, 8, maybe 12. I don't know exactly how many it is, but it was certainly less than 150. So that also could contribute here. So th these changes or little to no investment, it's very possible that the bots could be spamming the bottom tiers of bronze and earning even more money than they were in the old ranked rewards system. So what do you think? Is this a possibility? Is this something that we could see happen? And what are your thoughts? Are you concerned? Could you care less? Uh, you know, let me know in the comments below. And until next time, keep stacking those stats.